Back with another episode of Caesar 4, just like I promised, same day, everything. Uh, there should be a very, at least three new videos coming out, including this one. Um, this will be the last one for the day, at least. Uh, we will be back at rebuilding the city. Anyway, it's not really rebuilding. This is a brand new city, just uh, settled by me earlier. Uh, I see I was at work quite the bait. I must have been extremely tired at the moment, though. <laughs> but now it's uh, night, and I'm here to record this new episode. We're gonna check out what we can do here today, build up a prosperous city, and get everything popping. Apparently, our last mission was for Rome to get its vegetables. Uh. Money is a little tight at the moment, but I'm sure we can figure something out eventually. Let's check out our trade. It seems I got all the basics done. I should probably open trade with Akia for some glass. So I can sell that out of a trade port and get more money coming in. So we'll put one over here since there's so many rocks in the way. Right there. Alright. We always want more prefects. And, uh, engineers. So we can check on our buildings. So they don't burn down like our previous city. some reason, I feel like the previous city had a lot more profit coming through, but I do not know why. It's probably due to the spice trade. We're gonna need a lot more wheat coming in if we cannot supply enough cash coming in at the moment. It doesn't seem to be much, but I think we can also get patrician villas up so they can pay a lot of taxes. Not the best setup at the moment, at least for cash. So I should probably increase the amount of glass coming in and double the production while I'm at it of wheat. Let's stock up on glass over at this warehouse right here. Hmm. I think these granaries are a problem in a way. They're full, but kind of don't want them to all be full. I really need to sell extra wheat. Let's see how many people need jobs, actually, before we build anything else. There are 442 unemployed plebs, so I'm pretty sure we can get plenty of grain workers right now. Also, we might as well get uh, a couple cattle pastures up, so we can feed our people some meat. Let's get about three of those guys, if we can. Money's a little tight at the moment as I said before, but we're going to figure something out over time, hopefully. Yes, 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 yes. Excellent. Alright. Let's get uh, some cattle farms, cattle pastures. We can farm these cows. A couple there. Out of the way. A bit far, but we'll have to make do. You know, can't have everything in life. Actually, instead of three, let's just get two. Because cattle farms seem to be extremely overproductive, which is very odd. 
But I guess I understand it in a way. You just have to feed the cow, and all you have to do there is have it graze, gra gr or just uh, live on grassland. Let's get a couple more wheat farms over here too. We're at it. More jobs. More food. More money. Alright. Six should be enough. One. as many green fields active all right cool excellent that should double the amount of production on grain we're getting so we can ship some out of Al Alexandria to the nearby settlements like in Sicily and stuff Hopefully get that poppin'. Uh, for the moment, we'll leave that alone. We've got enough goods coming out of there, in particular. Uh, I probably should get a couple more vegetable farms up. But, to be honest, I don't think I need any more at the moment. I just have to fulfill these minor quests. And the people don't seem to be eating too much, so... We pretty much have all the goods we need here. Alright. There's plenty of people living in the town. At the end of the day, I feel as if this mission, my people can work in a multitude more locations. There's like, at least, or not, what I just said was complete baloney. I meant. <laughs> My people are a lot more packed into their work jobs. There's there's more room to get everything going, which is really odd. That's different. So I'm gonna get some more glass over here. Probably should also get more sand. Almost. Couple more sand pits. Great and all, but I find more zones to get on that. So much clay pits. Just don't need all these. There we go. Why is it so far away? Jeez. of situations but we'll we'll get it going somehow I need to increase the sand production maybe I'll move this over a bit sand is gonna be a big popularity over here it's a huge deal in this settlement of sand it's kinda odd but that's what we need Alright, let's speed up time a bit, get some money going, get everything rocking and rolling, so we can finally get uh, more equities into the city and then get our patricians out of here. But our patricians are going to need luxury goods, so I'll import wine, or not wine, but grapes in particular and start making wine with my already here citizens. We seem to be getting out of the low factor of money. Almost have a thousand in the treasury. Well, it just went back to 400. Oh my gosh. Why? Local raiders. Of course there's the local raiders. Why are they here? I may have to fight off a... Uh, these raiders again with prefects. 
just like we did in the last mission, unfortunately. Goodness gracious. can read all they want, but I'm not saying we're not going to go down without a fight, pigs. It's February. Oh, here they come. There's no raiders even there. What the freak? See these raiders. Oh, oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Oh, dear. Carthaginians everywhere. Rome's left us to die! They don't even send legions. Are there still Carthaginians? You'd think that the Senate would have solved this already. Did they not say that Carthage was destroyed? Oh man. This is an unfortunate turn of events. The city will burn down in a matter of minutes. There's too much at risk. There's three legions of enemies. Hmm. I think uh, one of the enemy legions got busted by the plebs. Oh my. Uh, I guess they raided so much they had fun. Dogs. Thank goodness. I always have to deal with some ridiculous garbage like that. It's just not necessary. Burning buildings again. Hopefully it doesn't spread this time, since I have prefects to deal with this mess. Hmm. It's a good amount of sand coming in. Hopefully we can sell enough of that, as well as uh, our other goods that we're looking for. Really selling that much sand. It's not good. I don't know how many is the maximum we can get at these pits. Um, yeah, I think I know what the pots look like. So we seem to be in the clear on money at least, uh, that's not a problem. We're doing pretty good. I still need to figure out a better way of transporting all this grain to our releases. to the town. I think I have enough plebs to be honest for the moment. We need to start working on clean water. It's filthy out here. I 
can't turn the pub house. Are you serious? Come on, man. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. It's gonna be looking real crooked. Oh my gosh, that looks so bad. <laughs> oh man. This game loves to hurt me, doesn't it? It's whatever. Alright. I guess I'll build right here for the moment. And then we're gonna get a reservoir. Over here. Somewhere. Oh my gosh. I can't turn that either. thought of this building system. I swear it. We'll make an interesting city, but I don't know if it's going to come out looking decent. That's my problem. There we go. Get a little more of that popping. Speed it up a little bit. We have fresh water coming in now, so we can start making fountains districts that we just don't know about. Let's get one right there. Get one over here as well. Just for just for scenery. Actually never mind. I forgot that people have to work these fountains. It's not easy. What about here? Hmm. I don't know what the problem is there. Probably not enough workers in particular in the city. The city's pretty broke down at the moment. Alright, got some immigrants. These guys are actually okay with the city at the moment. This is kind of weird. I thought they need a, a luxury good. In their district, at least, uh, just to stay happy. I guess I was wrong. Let's build a luxury market near them now. So when we get that wine, they have some available to them. Alexandria shouldn't be too hard of a city to make. I can't believe we got raided already. Madness, I tell you. <sighs> Plenty of coffer money coming in. From just basic goods. It's odd indeed. Got a little fountain there. Alright, so now we're getting some more of these dudes into the city. We need to start focusing on a lot of entertainment, since that was one of the main goals here. Which is actually decent. I actually like making the entertainment buildings. They're entertaining. <laughs> Let's get an odium in their backyard. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> so bad looking. Do you have the clinic there? Oh, we need bathhouses. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Find my people. We're gonna make it in this world. Today, at least. What? Why is that empty? Yeah. 
I can always build another reservoir. Let's build one down here. Just get water? Huh. That's weird. Wow. Why does it have to be so close? Wow. Okay. I have plenty of money, so I can really, literally just do what I want. I, I need to start working on getting some wine over here. I'm not really worried about olive oil. But ivory seems like a ideal good that I'm going to need. Uh, iron, timber, honey. Uh, we need the grapes. That's one thing that's going to be major. And that's literally all I can get. That's crazy. For luxury goods, there's only going to be one. That sucks. Oh, I can't get furniture. Utensils? Oh. Uh, hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're really fine. We'll be fine. I want like a little of everything for the people though. So let's get that up and running. Another wage rate. Three dollars for plaid. A little ridiculous, ain't it? Alright, so what we're gonna need is basically these basic goods. A couple of them. Which we're gonna need iron and timber so we can make pots and pans and timber for furniture so our lazy people can live in um, and sit down, and enjoy their wine next to the campfire. Alright, cool, cool, cool. We're getting somewhere here. Oh man. I get one there. Three utensil makers should be enough, to be honest. Which is awesome. Uh, I can get that closer. I'm gonna need a couple wine factories. Actually, first, before we do that. Let's get, a, let's get a road. Vegetables! Ugh. I don't have any more, man. We get that. We get the wine. We do not have the wine. Wine's a necessity to the city. All right. That should get us places. We'll be fine now. All right. So we set up uh, our work district. We're making plenty of tools, goods, everything that we need. It needs to be supplied in the city. Only things we do need are warehouses, to be honest now. Since there's plenty of people moving in, might as well start building these. 
Warehouse, dude. Warehouse. Oh, jeez. Alright, so the first thing we want is a warehouse two store bar wine and grapes. Second, furniture and wood. Third, iron and utensils. I'm not sure what was over here, to be honest. I think it was a glass warehouse. Alright. So that's great. Things going pretty decently over here. I think we already have a pottery warehouse. I'm gonna put a sand warehouse and store sand. It's that point at least. Plenty of flipping grapes, I'll tell you that right now. I don't know if we're gonna be able to produce fast enough. But I'll just let it go for the moment. See what we can get going here. Got plenty of goods being flowed through and out of trade. Hopefully I don't go broke from it. course. All you do is sell. Sell, sell, sell. Turd. Alright. Now they're getting their goods and they're all getting happy and jumping. You're like, yeah. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Yo. I don't care how drastic your pay is, you'll still work here, man. The house is looking pretty extravagant right there. You don't even pay taxes. Angry about pay. Get real. Trade's flowing through the entire empire right now, due to Alexandria's efforts. Great city has begun. Alright guys, I think I've done enough for the moment. I'm going to put a pause right here, and we will catch you later. See you later dudes.